Hello everyone. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to explain you how we develop a vapor liquid equilibrium diagram in HISIS. In particularly, I'm going to take an example of uh, ethanol uh, water system. So this is an equilibrium diagram for ethanol water system. This diagram is also called as XY diagram in chemical engineering. So on X axis, basically we have alcohol uh, in liquid form and on y axis we have alcohol in vapor uh, uh, form now this uh, this is your ideal situations and this is our actual situations that we receive and we are going to look on how we develop this in HISIS. before i go into HISIS, i just want to acknowledge that uh, i don't have any copyrights of this diagram this work i took it from google search and uh, this is uploaded by Narmina Sapaho. I hope I am pronouncing this name correctly and this is the paper of uh, this researcher distillation techniques in the fruit uh, spirits production if you wish to read this uh, article. So uh, my purpose is just to show you what is the XY diagram or equilibrium diagram uh, that we use in our distillation particularly uh, azeotropic distillations uh, we use these diagram and uh, i will quickly take you through uh, working this diagram in hisis so let's go in hisis here and we start our new case so because i mentioned i'm going to do uh, ethanol and the water so let's go to the component list in hisis click on add here you can search for uh, components uh, ethanol and once you have the component just double click this it will add automatically or you can click this add button it's the same thing and the second component water here so i have two components uh, now let's go to the fluid package here for this uh, example uh, the use of uh, the fluid package is very very important let's see uh, let's let's start with the wilson as a fluid package and see if this is okay this is is okay with my fluid package so i can proceed but i will come back uh, to this point and explain you something further in a uh, few minutes because there is no chemical reaction so i can go into the my simulation here and when you go to the simulation go to the external model and over here you will find the equilibrium unit let's bring that into your simulation uh, solver and double click on this now these are the two components uh, that we have and we are looking for the x y plot let me explain to you a little more about this so we are working in a binary system we can also work in ternary system if we have three components available in about you will find the details what this uh, function can do for you yeah, as you can see that it can draw the equilibrium plots uh, unit operation extension it can draw x y diagram t means temperature x y diagram p means pressure x y diagrams of binary systems and it can uh, draw liquid liquid extractions vapor liquid extraction diagram for ternary systems i will try to make some videos on this if i get any chance so for now we are working on our binary system and in the binary system you have the option of xy plot you can have the option of txy plot temperature xy plot and p pressure xy plot for now we are choosing our xy plot only which is our equilibrium diagram and the relationship between uh, the liquid uh, ethanol and the vapor uh, form of the ethanol so click on ethanol and add the component and then we have the water here now over here either you need to provide on what temperature do you want to study your equilibrium or you can provide your pressure value here in terms of kilopascal let's say i will study it at 101.3 kilopascal so the units are already already selected as a kilopascal and we hit enter the next is uh, you just click on this uh, plot here now once i enter this pressure you can see that uh, hisis is okay and it is asking me to update my plot so just uh, click on the plot here so here we go so this is the plot that i just uh, showed you here in this uh, publication of uh, narmina or you can also look on this uh, in a book of chemical engineering which is the richardson and coulson uh, 
chemical engineering volume 2 and in volume 6 I believe there is also a discussion on uh, vapor liquid equilibrium diagram so let's go to our simulation here so this is our binary plot uh, allow me to explain some points here so this is my x uh, axis where I have the alcohol or ethanol in liquid form and over the y axis I have my ethanol in terms of uh, vapor this is the ideal uh, situation which is uh, Hysis is referring me as a reference line and this is my actual x and y curve as you can see that uh, it is going to meet ideal situation at uh, almost 0.9137 of x and 0.937 of y so there are a couple of things that you can do over here the first is uh, you can click on the view table and uh, either you can export uh, this file or you can just uh, select this data and right click copy and paste or control c in your windows uh, computer or command c in your macbook and you can paste that into your word file or excel file wherever you want and redraw this diagram or if you want to copy the same uh, graph what you can do just right click on this click on copy here and let's click on scale by 100 percent and if i open any word document and i can paste uh, this uh, let's paste from here especially here we go so this is my uh, same diagram as i had in excel now i have moved that into my uh, word microsoft word and i can do my further analysis over here or you can also copy and paste the data into microsoft excel and you can work uh, and do the analysis in microsoft excel as well now the point that I want to mention you is let's say close this if you recall I chose uh, my fluid package as uh, Wilson and we have that diagram available now just keep in mind whatever uh, fluid package you choose in HiSys of course HiSys is going to give you some uh, indication that this is not the right package but sometimes HiSys uh, will not provide you sufficient information or it will lack in uh, suggesting you the right fluid package now in that case you must understand what are the properties of your system now let me show you a practical example here so as you can see that in the Wilson I chose it and this was the diagram which was developed and uh, if I choose some other fluid package let's say we go with the Antoine equation let's say now at this point as you can see I click on Antoine and HiSys is still okay so according to the HiSys there is no problem I can choose this fluid package but let's see if we can still get the equilibrium diagram or not so I only change I have made is uh, changing from Wilson uh, fluid package to Antoine fluid package and then I click on the simulation it is asking me if I wish to uh, left uh, in holding mode so let's say no here and I double click on this everything is here I just need to click on plot again and as you can see here I have a completely different uh, equilibrium plot and we know that this is not correct I have not changed anything the pressure is the same uh, both the components are the same the only change I made was the change in my fluid package and even though when I changed my fluid package HiSys was completely fine using me a different fluid package for this system so what is the take home message from here the take home message is how you draw your xy plot and the second uh, important message is it is very critical that you choose the right fluid package uh, in your high simulation how you know can know that you must uh, read understand the complete properties of your system and do not rely only on high recommendation so let me close this and i will bring it back to my correct version so from Antoine to of course uh, I'm going to my Wilson package here and now I should be able to receive the accurate diagram so let's plot here and here it is 
and as we know that this is the correct diagram the one we have before was not correct so i hope uh, this uh, helps and if you have uh, any questions uh, you can email me and i will be happy to answer you thank you and have a good day